Hey, hey, you guys, welcome back. I'm Hypnotic, and this is Vintage Story 1.19.4. And I saw that a new release candidate of the next uh, little update is out this morning. Uh, I am recording this on March 7th. Welcome back, you guys. I have been really busy, and I want to take care of a couple of one little business thing. Uh, somebody asked me, Matt, my friend Matt from the comments, asked me about a chiseling um comparison between the acacia and the false tamarind so i wanted to show you that i did this in my uh creative world so here you are matt this is what it looks like the acacia is on the right the false tamarind is on the left they look very very similar um i have been doing a lot of other things i have been gathering quartz and olivine and i got it all crushed up i've just been putting it in the pulverizer as i go i'll show you these pictures here I also did a whole bunch of tiles, and you can see that I started them right there with the yellow clay. That is boring as hell, but here's a picture of all the clay. I did I did it all, and I think I only have one yellow fire clay left from the original shingles I did. I did do the roof over there, and I found something very disturbing from my flower farming. Rawr. So let's go. Let me show you. Okay, so I added a storage area over here. So you can see where I am. I am at the forge and the pulverizer, which is gonna move. And you can see all of this. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. Steel, baby. Okay, yes, I can't wait. So we're gonna do this next. Um, but I'm planning a fireplace here. And I thought if I plant a fireplace along this edge, which makes more sense, then I needed to add a little storage area where I could put better crates full of ores and things. So I did this. It's right on top of here, which I, I kind of, I like it. And then I did the roof here, but you can see I ran out. I'll show you what this looks like in the morning. Uh, we still need windows. We need windows really bad. The other thing I think I've decided is for bamboo on this floor. I think I'm going to take out all of this paradotite and maybe even all of this and put bamboo floor in. I think that would look really nice and I think it looks really awesome against the K-Pok, especially this end up. So you can place it like that or you can place it like that. Then um, I had a, a pretty massive failure with the flowers. So I... I I'm still deciding whether I'm going to keep it, uh, keep the mod. I could uh, work on a different mod for the flowers, but what I I wanted a simple mod, guys. I wanted something simple. Now I looked at like some other ones, and they add so much, and I just want to be able to farm flowers. But my whole flower thing over here died. It all died. I'll show you the picture right now. So. Um, I went ahead and uh, because I looked at the temp the seed temperatures on them and they are very specific and uh, I did talk to the uh, mod creator the and uh, they did change something now I don't know what they changed yet in the mod because I haven't been able to download it yet the vintage story website as I record this right now is down, so I can't get in there. So I have yet to see whether I am gonna keep this flower farming mod. I did plant two other flower farms. One is right on top of the forge where I was just standing, right on top of the pit kiln area. You can see it right here because those needed a colder climate. And then I did plant one way down at the, um, on the other side of the translocator, right here, you can see it, because that was a different climate. Now you can look at the climate if you type WGEN POS climate. Now our average temperature here, average yearly temperature is 27. Now it's winter and I figured out why it's winter here and yet we go south and it is spring there and that is because we pass the equator 
Let's look at that. POS latitude. So we're at 11 degrees latitude in the northern uh, hemisphere. And as soon as we go into this TL, we pass through the equator and go to the southern hemisphere. So if we do WGEN POS latitude here, we are minus 35 in the Southern Hemisphere. So that is why it feels more north because we are moving back into the colder regions. And that's cool. So I don't know if you guys know, but the, it's compressed. I learned this on the Aura Fury server. It's compressed of a map, uh, the 1 million by 1 million map. You go through many poles. So you could keep walking south to the edge of the world and you'll go through many equators. I did harvest um, the garden and the flax, and it looks like we have a few more things done. So while it's dark, I'm going to do that. And then we're going to head up to the forge. Okay, I'm going to make these Mexican cotton balls into uh, Mexican cotton fiber. And that will get us more seeds, which is amazing. And then I'm going to make these into uh, flax. That is amazing. I, you guys, this mod is amazing. I, I'm i loving it more and more. Um, and I did hear from uh, the, this is the Caribbean mod, floral Caribbean mod. I did hear from the modder and on the comments. And I love that you're, you're communicating with me. It's amazing to talk to the modders um they're doing a new asiatic one which i'm really excited about i might add that as well let's see we'll see i am a big plant person in real life i love my plants uh and so having it in here is so amazing i think i'm gonna continue planting this mexican cotton here so cool. Okay, we're done with the garden and both piggies are preg pregnant. So that is exciting. I'm going to go put uh, the food away that I just harvested and the sun is coming up so we can get started. I also made more mortar, so we may have to run back and get that at some point. I used my lime to make my quick lime um, and then uh, got some paradotite sand. I'm just, we really need to find lime, guys. We really need to find lime or chalk. We're going to have to go on another massive expedition. Done the bees a couple of times, so we actually have some honey, and I've been putting candles around. I'm just setting candles down anywhere that I feel like we need light. Uh, and yes, things are starting to rot. It's just going to happen. Maybe I should make some cellar ice. Maybe I should go uh, see if I could find some ice up top. If you guys don't know, you can make cellar ice. Let's see. I think... Cellar ice. Cellar ice is uh, pileable of an area of 3 by 3 by 2 Placed inside a room, it will cool the room and the cellar ice will melt down over a long time. So if we go, this is the a saw, some lake ice or glacier ice and grass, and it makes 16. We might end up doing that, piling it in the corners here. We'll see. It is winter right now, so it is a little colder, but Bill's not making a difference. Okay, now that it's light out, I'm going to go into creative for just a second, just so I can show you the roof that I did put on from out here. That is the yellow. I didn't have enough to finish, as you can see, uh, this section, but the yellow works perfect, you guys. Look at that. 
It looks a lot like fire clay, but fire clay is darker. And I don't think I'm even going to put the little eaves on it. I think I like the way it looks kind of tight, you know? I like it. This looks good. And I did uh, quarry uh, quartz right here. I figured it would be okay to do to destroy my wall a little bit and just go in here and quarry some quartz. And I did get some silver out of it, so that was good. Okay, where should we start? So that is the basic recipe for tier two fire bricks. And we're gonna just make several piles of this. You need more than you think. Uh, I'm gonna go get more fire clay. You have to have 53 solid blocks. So, um, it's important that you make enough. Okay, we got uh, five stacks of tier two refractory bricks. And that leaves us really low on olivine. What I did was uh, I quarried olivine out of the TL shaft on the other side south. On the other side of the equator, um, we can stack these down here. And when our pit kiln is done, we'll just go ahead and start all these. Let me show you the flower farm up here real quick. Uh, I built some slate stairs. And this is the flower farm. They look like they're doing okay up here. I don't get any notification that they're too hot or too cold. I de decorated it a little bit up here with some trap doors. And then obviously I put the slate roof on and got all this slate surrounded in here. So it does look a little darker and more forgy. Uh, I will probably do something on the wall there as well. But I think I think I want to keep this as like a patio deck area that we can come up here and look out. So this needs a floor uh, that's not dirt. And the, here's the roof. And then we'll put a fence around this edge right here. And then the tower will go up there. I think I'm out of these bricks, so I'll have to make more. This will come out. This floor will come out. Not until we have the tower up, though because we don't want drifters in. I finally have it sealed off. We'll grab the, where did I put my, oh, it's upstairs. My chisel and my hammer are up here. So let's, let's talk about this fireplace for now. I'm gonna dig this one out cause this is gonna be the back of it. And then we'll think about the, the loot locker back there. This is gonna be the back of the fireplace. So let's start we actually don't need them back there. What we're going to do... Oh, God. That's it? That's all I made? What? I think we're going to actually try to make... Yeah, look at that. We can actually make this a real chimney. Okay, it's kind of hard for me to uh, work right here with this damn pulverizer in the way. And we'll, we're going to move it pretty quick. But here is kind of an idea for the fireplace. I kind of like it. I like the green glass, but I'm not going to leave the green glass like that. I think what I'm going to do is chisel it and get that um, big uh, frame away and do something along those lines. There's a bouncing rock up there, but what we'll have to do is we'll have to go up to the top it's already nighttime again you guys this these days go by really fast and we'll have a chimney right up here so it'll actually look like a real chimney so that that will be good i have to figure this out though i think it might be nice to uh, chisel a little edge along here with some uh with some blocks so this is already chiseled so i'm just gonna add block to it add this block and add this block and then we really only have to chisel one and I'm gonna grab the pantograph really quick because I'm lazy as hell 
and we are gonna snapshot this and copy it right into there and right into there well I like it I want to chisel some stuff and obviously things are going to be moving out to here and this wall this floor will go away so at least we have a fireplace and we can chisel around the edges now and uh, make it you know fine-tune it I do like the green glass in there though I really do you 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 spawned in here didn't you yeah there, it's just too freaking dark in here you guys too freaking dark we're not gonna start oh my god this is why i need to finish this because it's so annoying oh they're falling in the chimney yeah you can pray all you want buddy but you're dying they fell they just fell in here okay so let's block this for now just so we don't have them falling in now with a loot locker or the treasure room what should i call it i don't know what i should call it Okay, then the iron door will be right here and we'll go in here. So we're gonna go back one. And then this will be the room. We can make the room and it can go more that way, I think, behind the fireplace. And then we can chisel this and make this really cool entryway. Uh, I don't have, I mean, I do have iron to make, but I don't have a health hammer. So we're going to be waiting on the iron door until I can make it a little bit, uh, I can make it. So I'm going to dig in here for a bit. Okay, I need to think about how big I want this room because I want to be able to put all my piles of ingots in here. Uh, and then we'll obviously do the walls and stuff in here, uh, and the floor. But we have the beginnings of our little loot locker. I think with the iron door that will look that will look pretty good. If we chisel and add beams and some cool decoration around here, that will be awesome as well. So it is morning now. I hear a lot of monsters still, but it I think it's time for us to um, clear out our inventory a little bit. I'm gonna do that for a minute and then we're gonna go put those um, cementation bricks in the pit kiln oh my god we have to fight some drifters i need more lights in here oh my god they're everywhere come on but guys oh dude Wow, my bow is... What's going on with the bow? It's like it draws, but it doesn't shoot. And it's making like this weird... Hear that? I'm just pulling back. I don't understand what it's doing. Oh, is that it? Jeez. We have to get more light in here. I need a health hammer. In order to have a health hammer, we must, must have more sails. So let's, let's look and see if we can spend a few minutes to get the tower up and running and maybe put more power upstairs on the windmill so we can potentially get a health hammer going and then seal off upstairs. That's another full windmill. So we could probably put two windmills around a big gear now, or yeah, that'd probably be the best way to do it. Now that I've created like a little drifter spot back here, I'm going to go ahead and plug it up so drifters can't get this way. And let's go out and grab these um yellow shingles and put the fire uh put the the cementation furnace bricks in here 
I had to run over to get some uh, wood from the charcoal pit area, and there's a couple of fish in here, which is nice. I do think these are producing less. Like I'm, I've this. It's there's nothing, nothing on this trot line. Maybe I'll move it out a little bit further into the water. Uh, but I do believe that my short little stubby trot lines actually produced more fish, if that is a possibility. <laughs> okay, uh, let's get this going. This is a lot, a lot of work. Did you notice? You notice how the slate looks uh, very similar to the firewood color? It's the same color. Crazy. Okay, I didn't get quite all of them in there, but that's okay. Uh, we'll have to run it, run it twice, and uh, see how we end up there. Okay, let's do a little planning up here. I want to find the center and uh, figure out where the windmill is going to go. This is the center. So we're not far off for the windmill. This is the center. So we're a couple of blocks away from perfect center. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking out this floor and this is going to be all one tower. And um, we're going to, it's big enough that we're going to be able to put two gears in here. So maybe I should plan it out that way. Uh, no, because we're going to shift the gear over here. So all the mechanisms are along this side of the loft down below. So this should work. Yes, this should work perfect, actually. 147, a minimum of 150, probably. Let's go into creative and see what it's going to look like. If it's just at this level, it's going to need to be a little higher than that because otherwise it's going to look weirdly stubby compared to this huge, this huge building down here. Right? So... I mean, maybe not. It doesn't have to be that tall. Maybe another five. So maybe one, like 53 or 155. So that's another, um, it's at 147. So that's another eight blocks at 155. I think that that's a fair, that's fair. Okay. So with that in mind, we need to make more of the bricks. Now I am feeling, like I said a few minutes ago, I am feeling really um, like I wanna slow down on the building a bit because I'm concerned that I don't wanna limit myself um, with my building materials because I really have an idea that I wanna have chalk and and or limestone in this build. And I don't have that yet. Okay, as it gets dark, I'm gonna um, just, I just emptied my inventory a little bit. Give us a little more serious um, space to work here. It is getting dark again and I'd rather work in the light and I need some more food anyway. So I am going to come down here and grab us another thing of food and sleep through the night just to get us to the morning. I need to put this fish away as well that we got. I'd really like to make a smoker. Uh, I think with a smoker, you can um, maybe make this fish last a little bit longer. This is part of the primitive survival Mod. Oh my god, that's so easy. We'll do this. Add four firewood and up to four raw trust meats. Then light with a torch. Okay, so what's a trust meat? Oh man. Okay, we're not going to do that yet. Because I don't have twine. I don't have twine to, to like... Spend. Yeah. Not yet. We'll get there. We'll get there. Okay, we're going to take this down again. I know we took it down last episode and this episode, but we're going to get try to get this. We're not using the health hammer 
I mean the pulverizer right at this moment. So we're going to try to get this set up to where uh, we can get it set up properly now that we have some steel, the bricks um, cooking. And I think what I've decided is I'm going to only go this high here and then I'm going to bring it in a few and I will show you what I mean. So if this is our center, and we only need this to be three by three to do the top, um, put the top gear in, we can come into here to make the tower. Like here, I'm just gonna mark it out so I don't have to worry about it from the top. So we'll have the top gear come the tower will come up from here um, after I get it over here. So, are we even? No, we're not. One. Okay, let's move these in. One. So these are going to go... This is actually perfect for a walkway right here. So these are going to go here instead. And this one is going to come here. Where are those monsters? I think they're in my loot locker. And then what we'll do is we're going to start trying to figure out how to get this over one like that and like that. And then we'll be able to take this one down. Now I am at 147, so I'm at the original height of the windmill. And then if I come up and I just make sure that I'm five higher than this level right here so the windmills don't hit. Ouch. Hey, uh, we're going to fly and look at this again. Okay, I, I really like that. Then the windmills will set right up on top. And then we'll have a deck around the outside. I think that that's going to be perfect. I like it. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, I just flew uh, uh, for a second just to look at it again. I really like to use uh, creative mode just to uh, fly every now and then to look at it. Uh, and... I'm putting these stairs in upside down, but we're going to need more bricks here any minute. And we're going to make sure that this is walled off so I don't have to, even if I'm using material that I probably won't stay with using, because I don't want to have these drifters in here anymore. And we're going to need to light it up. I mean, look at these bastards. They're everywhere. And I just stab you to death with my knife. Yep, I got you. I got you. Can we make one more sail? Because I only had four up there. We can. We can make one more sail. I only had four up there. So I thought I had five. But we're going to go ahead and make one more. That way we can have five on two sides of that large gear. So we have, um, where did I put them? Right there. So we are going to have 10 sails. When we're ready, I still have to put together a health hammer. I am going to need to take a break to go hunting again for some fat. And look, our things are done. So I'm going to take a break really quick and refire these. This is how long I've been working on this, guys. I'm trying to shorten these videos up, but I do like, I mean, 
Guys, I'm playing a Let's Play for sure. I want you guys to see like all the different parts of a vintage story, and I don't, and I enjoy it all. So I try to show all of it. Um, that's maybe slow, but Vintage Story is a grindy, slow game. It's so amazing in that respect. Okay, we're gonna go ahead. I don't, I don't want to put these down. Uh, instead, I want to go ahead and make uh, some bricks. So let's go ahead and just make... Look at that! So nice! Oh my gosh! This is amazing. I think we need 53 of them. We don't even have enough iron ingots to start a load of them. You need, you need 16. So I will um, go ahead and grab our our bricks, um, our regular fire clay bricks, and we'll make a couple of bloomeries. Grab that little bit of iron that we got out of there. Turn it into nuggets. And that's quite a bit. Let's grab our fuel and load these up and get these going. So at least when we have the steel cementation furnace in place, we will have plenty of um, iron ingots. I'm not going to be able to fill all these up. I don't even have enough, but we're going to go ahead and run it anyway. You can go ahead and run it even if it's not full. You need six charcoal in with 120 nuggets, but this one will take three because I only have 56 in there. So let's get these going. We'll have to work these blooms by hand because we don't have a health hammer yet. We're kind of putting the cart before the horse, but I don't care. Okay, back to more building the tower and building more stairs. We're going to need that, and then we're going to take that upstairs. We're going to need more full bricks. I'm going to grab those. And let's make these stairs again. I'm reserving the right to change any of this later when I get more building materials. Okay, so now we're going to pick this up. We're going to put... Um, we're going to put these in as walls, the K-Pok. I don't think we need windows up here. Maybe we need windows up here just to let in some of the natural light. That might not be such a bad idea. That at least walls us in. And then we can take out this for now, uh, but we're going to have to add, I think what we'll do from the inside is we'll do some more stairs. Do I have enough stairs? No, we'll have to make some more. But I think if we did upside down stairs like this, that would look nice, but we can do that from the inside, I think. So let's save that for the inside. Let's go up and seal this off. So we can at least have like a drifter free uh, space. Wouldn't that be amazing? I have, I have been through hell and back with these drifters. Let's grab some roofing. Put a little roof on that up there. Let's do some nighttime roof building. At least I'm not gonna be risking my life by like being up super high. The falls aren't gonna kill me this time. Not like a Cantha Tower. We probably are going to want a door on this. Maybe? Because we're going to want access to this, so I should probably think about that and do maybe like that and we can make a door. Okay, let's go back up and finish this. I don't know if this is going to look right, guys, but it's going to be how I fill it in right now just to begin with so we can have like a nice quiet forge without all the drifter activity. At least that's what I'm hoping. 
So the we'll have the windmills come out right here. So we'll go like this to make a little windmill hole. And then we can put the roof on this. And the large gear will go right there. Okay, let's do this. I hope this is going to look okay. We need some of those. And we're going to need some of these. These are... Nope, that's not right. We're going to need these ones. Because we're just going to make this a little round. Okay, so the other way. I don't know how many of those we're going to need. We might... I don't think we had any left over, so I used them all. You can break these down again, which is really nice. And I didn't know that before. So you can break them down again. So that's what I did to finish. And I will need some more of these. Can you break these down? I'm assuming you can, if you can break the others down. I just don't want to make too many. Yeah, perfect. Okay. What we're going to do is I'm going to be very careful and go around... I'm going to have to jump down, though, in order to get out of here. Unless I can do some weird parkour. Okay, now we need a little cap on the top. One of these, probably. And we'll need to uh, put a laser block down just for that. Okay, I got to figure out how to get these other ones on. Mm -mm. Okay, before we go down, let's finish this. Oh my gosh, this will be nice. Let's orient these so they're horizontal only. And then finish this part of the roof. We're going to have to have a look at all of this when the sun comes up. But while the sun, while it's still dark out, we're going to go ahead and take out this dirt and then put in the little upside down stairs along the rim here. Right there to seal this in finally. I'm putting solid uh, blocks in the corners real quick. That will give us more options for chiseling later. And there we have it sealed in finally and properly. Uh, there can be crawl, uh, crawly guys that can get up into those window spaces up there. So we do need to get rid of that. And then we can take down these axles and grab them. So the one thing we're going to need is a little, probably some sort of um, rim of, of walkway around that. So I'm going to add that in with K-Pok. That fireplace lends itself to that really well. Put the door right here. Nope. So we'll flatten these out and make them that and jump in here, pick up and we'll, we'll just make, so we have access to the windmills here and then the door there. Put a couple pieces of cobble in there. And then we can put stairs right here so we have access to all the way around. And then we'll be able to just get up here to service anything we need to service. I really, really like this. I'm pretty happy with it. I don't normally want to jump down like that, though. I'm going to go ahead and leave this ladder here. 
but I'm also gonna have a path to get up to the top around this garden here. We'll cut a path right through here and fix up this area. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna add just some basic stone fencing here around this corner, around this lip. Um, I can fall through that. We're probably gonna wanna put something in on these corners that I can chisel. And then we'll need to put in a floor here, whatever this is gonna be. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I'm reserving that till I figure it out. So the pulverizer is actually gonna go right here. I know this is a really roundabout way of getting it settled in, but this is the way my mind works. The way I work. So let's, uh, that there, and then the pulverizer frame is going to go back there. Then we can move stuff around. So it's going to be powered on this side. We can put the hopper. Right there, we're gonna kind of we're kind of pushing it out of the way. Let's get uh, the toggle in. Where's my toggle? Oh God! Oh yay! My toggle fell in my hopper and into the back into the chest. Okay, so then the chest will go over here. And we're just gonna break it and move everything. Then the input chest and its little partner here, the chute, like that. And then once we get it powered up again, it will be fast. We'll have the health hammer coming this way because it'll be close to the forges and the quern coming off here. Ah, oh, perfect. It's perfect. We need to put the pounder caps back on. Okay, let's take a moment and let's fly around and see what we think of it again. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I think it's really cute. Uh, I don't know that I'm super happy with the way that looks. I was trying, maybe, maybe if I, once I chisel this stuff, it'll look a little bit better, but I am thinking there needs to be a couple of windows right here. But otherwise, once we chisel it, that's going to be adorable. I mean, guys, look at that. It's cute. And beyond and above all, it's going to be really super functional. Now, if I decide that I want to power it more, I could go up higher and add another set of windmills up above. I am hesitant to do any more decorating and things because, like I said, I need more materials. But I think this is looking pretty good. Look at that roof. It looks pretty slick. I'm going to go ahead and uh, I really like the... I really like the yellow clay. Do you guys agree? I think the yellow clay looks really nice. And I think what I'll do is I will replace that roof down there and work on the bridge a little bit because um, I got some really cool ideas from my Discord and I will, I can't remember the name right now. I'll post it right here for the bridge. So I'm probably gonna be working on that. I also thought about what about a tunnel underneath here? What about a tunnel underneath my grotto? A tunnel? I like that idea as well. Okay, you guys, I'm going to call this episode here. It's really long. I've been recording a long time, so I'm going to edit it down and try, get it, try to get it down to my normal 40-ish minutes. Uh, if it goes a little long, you understand why. So between now and the next time I see you guys, I am going to be going to get more fat and I'm going to go get more resin. I have a few resin spots uh, marked so we can finish the windmill and we can finish uh, the health hammer next episode along with putting together the cementation furnace. As soon as we have this forge up and running, we're going to do some caving and some exploring, but I have to secure this forge. It's the heart 
of a base. It's the heart of a vintage story base. Okay, guys, take care. Thank you so much for being here. Stay safe out there. Bye, guys.